Sports, Lee Matthews and Mickey Moghouse. A bit of history between the two, and also a bit of history between Collingwood and Brisbane, and Michael Voss has fueled the fire a bit today. Well, he certainly has come out with an article saying that the Collingwood is still scarred. He's been away with Nathan Buckley over to South Africa. Maybe a little bit of gamesmanship, but I know one thing. Michael Voss would not have written the article if he didn't believe it. Collingwood may, may not believe it, but Michael Voss certainly does. Voss is saying that this could be a defining match for Collingwood to finally get rid of the Lions. But how do you get rid of Jonathan Brown? Well, what a star he is. Jonathan Brown, six goals last week. He was dehydrated. He played on the best, or one of the best back in the business in Darren Glass. He uh, kicked nearly half their goals. We know he's a star. We know what he can do. And Collingwood will be doing everything they can tonight to make sure that he doesn't have a repeat performance. And here are Collingwood coming off that first round win against Fremantle. They overran the Dockers at the MCG Rocker with his six. They were impressive on the road last year. They won their last four games, including that fabulous final against West Coast. Scotty Burns leading them out as playing as captain of the club for the first time. And when you look back at their captains in recent times, Buckley, Brown, Shaw, Mark Williams, it's an illustrious group. Yes, they won four on the road and they beat Brisbane the Gabba for the first time since 1995. That was in round nine. So Collingwood here, but Brisbane then beat Collingwood at the MCG by a record 93 points in round 17. It was a remarkable night. Jared Brennan in all his pomp and glory there. Well, they conceded the first six goals against West Coast last week before coming back but losing. Brown got six and Bradshaw got three. Up to Dennis for the first time tonight. Go on then, Bruce. Well, after losing to the West Coast Eagles last week, Brisbane have made three changes with Lockie Henderson making his debut tonight. Just looking at the highlight of plays, Power, Lappin and Black. We talk about cream in slippery wet conditions with these three players. They know how to use it. They know how to get it. And when it is wet and slippery, you'll see them make very few mistakes. Unlike some other players who may cough it up in tough conditions. Simon Black coming off 30 possessions last week. Fair to say he's tormented Collingwood in the past. And not only not only Collingwood, he's tormented many sides. Uh, looking at Collingwood, he's short. They'll need a, a heap of runoff half back. He does that. He uses the ball uh, the ball really well. Didac, we know how clever he is. And uh, watching him go about his business after a full year with his knee now, he's just about hitting his uh, absolute peak. And Dale Thomas, I was lucky enough to see him play twice last year in the wet. He handles the ball better than just about anyone in the competition in slippery conditions. So the Magpies have included a couple of veterans, Scott Burns and Ben Johnson. And speaking of veterans, Anthony Rocket, 28 goals in 15 matches against Brisbane. And this is a big game for this man. Cameron Wood against his old team tonight. A handful of games, less than 20 for Brisbane. His second game for Collingwood. On a big stage, Friday Night Football, Brisbane and Collingwood at the Gabba. 